So I'm going to poke around on uh, a Drupal 8 site. This is with using Alpha 9, so um, still definitely some, some buggy things and stuff like that going on in here, but a good look at where Drupal 8 is currently as of recording this. And um, what I wanted to look at was under structure, there's this new menu item now called display modes. And I'm familiar with view modes in Drupal 7, although I haven't played with them a lot beyond the basic usage of them. But this is really interesting because there's view modes and form modes. And I got a little confused or trying to figure out what, what that actually meant. And so to back up one second here, let's just talk about view modes in Drupal 7. So if I look at this list of view modes in Drupal 8, you can see under content, I have these different um, view modes. It's sort of different contexts that you see your content in. And so I have, you know, full content and teaser are probably the ones you're most familiar with. And like, if I look at a, at a Drupal 7 site, so this is a Drupal 7 site article content type. If I go to manage display here, you can see I have these, um, view modes that are listed here. And, and in Drupal 7, you can just basically toggle on and off which ones you want to use. But it's essentially the same thing as what we have here in Drupal 8. Um, it's just that this list is configurable, whereas in Drupal 7, you kind of get that list on your content type, and that, that's kind of that. But with this in Drupal 8, I can actually edit the view modes that I have available. So I can change the name of, of this so full content doesn't make sense to me or to my users or something like that. I can always uh, edit and just change the name of it. You can't really do anything else, but, uh, but at least, you know, I could change the name of that if it's going to make more sense uh, to people. Uh, and you can also add your own. So I could add my own custom view modes here, which if you're familiar with things like display suite, um, or if you've used custom view modes, but here I can sort of add my own. So I don't know, make something up when content's in a sidebar or for whatever. So I can just, you know, yeah, add my own thing in here. And then I can use that on my, my content types. And then when it comes to displaying, I can do something special with that and make different fields appear, say, appears in that context versus the full content context. And uh, you can do this for they have a couple of different things. So we're, we're familiar with them in content from Drupal 7, um, but we can, we have ones that are made for us for user, compact user account, so full user account, compact, like showing to the side or something. I don't know. But, um, but right, like different contexts when you might be looking at user information. And then taxonomy, comments, custom blocks. So this is pretty cool because you get to define these d display modes uh, if you want to and then be able to use them in different ways. So like, um, okay, so... If I added this here, I would think that when I'm configuring my content type, that I would be able to use this. So let's see if that's true. If I go into structure content types, and let's just go into my article here and manage display. Because again, view modes is part of the display uh, of your whatever it is, content, user, and stuff like that. So I'm going to manage the display default teaser. These are the ones that are done by default. And again, I have this custom display settings, but you see now this custom one I created is available if I wanted to add that. And so if I can check that off, then that ends up up here. And so, you know, by default, I want all this to show, but let's say on the sidebar, um, you know, I don't want any of this other stuff to show up. Uh, so that's cool. And then of course there's, you know, teaser stuff like that. So neat. So that's cool. Um, then of course you have to do something with that. Um, use that view mode in some way. You can use view modes in views module, which is kind of confusing because we're using the word view a whole lot right now. But let me, if I go into, we'll see. I haven't played with views in Drupal 8. This will be interesting. So let me just go into something like front page, which is just a list of content on the site. Uh, so we can see, yeah, it, things are a little buggy still. So it's missing the style plugin. But if I had, uh, for an unformatted list, uh, you know, you could have, I could show different things. But um, here I can see, like, the, the row style option. Like, if I'm showing, if I was showing content, like, um, 
Drupal 7, you could choose like content and then did you want to show the full note or the teaser? Um, and here, yeah, again, this custom one I've created is here. So if I added a new view mode and, and, and you know, picked the styling for how I wanted that to, to look and I can, you know, limit the fields, right? Like if I, instead of picking teaser, it has different fields on it in my content type. Sidebar has different fields yet again that are showing. So I can customize which fields show. Um, this, this is neat um, that you can just do this through the interface now without needing uh, an external module. Cool. Yeah, so that works. Um, neat. The other big thing, though, I wanted to look at here, because this, this definitely con confused me a little bit when I first started looking at this. So display modes, view modes, this is something we're familiar with from Drupal 7. But now they have this thing called form modes, and I got really a little on this one. So form modes, when you go in there, there's just this only user. I can't, there's no other entity types in here or anything. I don't know if that's going to get added or not. But, uh, and then there's just this register form mode. So I'm assuming that view mode is like for display, like the final display. And so form mode is like how your form, how the input form looks versus the final product that you're displaying to like your end users. And so if we go and look at structure in the content types again, right? And so if I go in here and, and manage fields for my article content type here, you can see, so I have manage fields tab, which we're used to in Drupal 7 and manage display, but now there's this new manage form display, right? So like in Drupal 7, see, we have manage fields, manage display, just those two. And in Drupal 7, on Manage Fields, you pick your field. The field type is stored in the database. And then you pick your widget, which is the f input form element. Like, what does it look like for someone to upload an image or type in the body text? What, how does the form look, essentially, is what widgets are. And so in Drupal 8, what they've done is they've actually split this out. Because if you look at my Manage Fields now, I'm only selecting my field type. Like that's just this first part, right? Just these th first three columns are here along with the operations there. So all this is is selecting your field type and then form display tab is where you deal with your widgets and like the order, right? Cause this is again, like how do you determine uh, when someone's filling in the form, what order are the fields showing in? Right, and in Drupal 7, you just do it on this Manage Fields tab and move them into the right order. So they've sort of, basically they've split this out to give you a little, I think a clearer sense of, of where things are split up uh, and more fine-grained control over them. It makes sense because we were, in Drupal 7, we were doing two things on that Manage Fields. And now they've broken it into the three components of a field. Like I've always, when teaching, you know, it's like you have the field, the field itself, how is it stored in the database? Then you have the widget, which is how someone inputs that data on a form. And then you have the display, which is what does it look like when it gets spit out, you know, in a web page. So basically, they've just taken the three concepts of a form and broken them into individual tabs now, which is pretty cool. So now managing form display is a new thing. I got initially, when I was looking at this a little bit ago, I got a little confused just because the word display is used so many times. There's display modes form display, manage display, like it's not manage, I don't know, final display, content display, whatever. So it took, took me a little while to, um, yeah, to figure it out. But that this is sort of what's going on in my understanding of what's going on here. And then here's all my widgety stuff and I can define how the form should look, which is of course different than how the final display looks. You can change the order of the fields and everything like that. So that's pretty cool. And then I'm guessing like, you know, really this is just they split the tab out into a new tab. It's not really doing anything. This this um, display mode stuff, like I said, in form modes, right now I can't do anything about the form. I don't know what modes you would have for filling out the form, that there would be different modes for that, but uh, for content, but I'm, I'm sure we can think of those things. Um, and I'm sure that, that as time goes on, people will extend what's going on here in core. And so I'm assuming like with the user stuff, like, I guess for the registration form or something, if I go into account settings, 
Mm, I'm just going to play with this for a second here, right? Because this is where you control, you know, the user form, essentially. Um, so you can add fields. So again, this is just the field type. So if I wanted to add, you know, some other field here, I don't know, phone number. And actually, there is a phone number that's not enabled, uh, a phone number field. I'm just going to pick text just so I can do this real quickly. You, we all know what I'm saying. But there is a new phone number field, I think. Field settings, yep, do those things. Cool. Let's just do all this. I just want to get back to my tabs. All right, so I have this. And now I can manage form display. So the widget. Username and password visible. Cool. So I can, okay, what's visible, what's not visible, how, right, again, how do you format the picture? How do I format uh, the phone number, right? So that's, you know, widgety things. That's cool. Ah, and I see down here on the form I have custom display settings. Typically you would see that under the manage display tab, right? Again, this view modes thing. So these are the view modes for the end display. But for users, you can actually manage the form display. We didn't have this for the content type. And I can say that I want the registration form to look different than the form if they're already like in the site, I'm thinking, is where they're going with this. So like we would have all of this information, say, like on the main uh, user form uh, on the site. But when I was registering, maybe I don't, I don't want people to have to put all this stuff in. And so I can hide this stuff on the, uh, maybe I can hide it. Yes, I can hide this stuff on the registration form and just determine what should show there like that. So if I go to my, uh, go to my account. So if I, this is display. So these would be view modes. Edit profile is the form mode. But this is because this is like all of the things because I'm right. Like here's my phone number thing I set in here. But if I log out and go to register, if I allow registration, let me, oops, allow anybody to register here real quick. And we'll just see what this looks like. I'm really curious now. Um, ah, well, yeah. Okay. Let me log out and then create a new account. Right. And then these, right. I just have the username, email address, and the picture. I don't have all of that other stuff, but I could have all, the, all that other stuff on the new account registration if I wanted. Nice. So anyway, that's um, a little bit of a look at the new display mode um, settings that you can play with in Drupal 8. It's nice because uh, in Drupal 7, you needed a contributed module to be able to sort of um, modify those view modes. And, and create your own and do that kind of a stuff. So now it's built into Drupal core. And now they have this new form mode thing, which I'm really curious about. I mean, right now we just have this one with the user registration, but I'm curious to see how that gets expanded um, to be able to really create custom forms for, you know, I don't know, different, uh, different forms for different people doing different things on the site with the same thing. I don't know. It, it'll be interesting to see. So anyway, Drupal 8, it's coming. We're getting there. Thanks all.